Hey everyone, Erwin Yusuf here. I'm here today to try to give you a food history lesson of one of our favorite summer delicacies, the halo halo. I might shock you with this bit of information that my grandma once told me. I'm kidding, my grandma never actually told me this. I actually read about it. Halo halo doesn't actually come from the Philippines. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Now before you go crazy and realize that that is the craziest thing that's ever come out of my mouth, take a second, sit down, listen to me. Let's try to go through this logically. Ice was never Never a commodity in the Philippines, so it can't be a dessert that comes from a long, long time ago. So once ice was introduced, it made a lot of sense. We're a really hot and humid country, so having a dessert that is just sweet and fluffy and cold that makes you feel better when it's really hot outside makes total logical sense. If you look at other countries around the region, Singapore has its ice kacang, Malaysia has its chendol, Vietnam has its cha ba mao, and Thailand has its nam kem sao. So where did this concept of putting ice with sweet ingredients actually come from? Well, if we look to our neighbors up north, the beautiful Japanese people, they have this thing called kakigori. Kakigori is basically a dessert made from fluffed, really, really thinly shaved ice, and usually with some sweetened azuki beans, some red beans, or just sweetened syrups. So once we understand that and look at it from that perspective, we can quickly realize that that is kind of like the grandfather recipe of all these different variations. Halo halo being our own. So what makes the best halo halo? I am no expert. I am basing this purely on my own personal palate. I like something that's not too heavy and where I can taste every single ingredient that's inside of this dessert slash drink. But aside from all those historical facts and anything I can dig up and present to you right now, the only thing that's important at the end of the day is how these desserts tastes and make you feel. So today with American Tourister, we are headed off to find the best halo halo dessert in Manila. First stop, got big things halo halo right here. Okay, what are the ingredients? So that's the pastillas, oh, sweet corn, and then last but not least, shaved ice. So we're compacting the ice, making sure it's nice and firm, and then milk. This is just regular cow's milk. That actually looks really good. <laughs> Salamat. I'm just so excited to have the mix of pastillas de leche, sweet corn, beans, and milk. It's one of the simplest ones. I didn't taste it at first. I didn't taste that pastillas, but then it creeped up on me like um, the thief in the night. That was really good. I think that was quite stupid to start with probably one of the best contenders there is. But we are in the Philippines, and thank God there is always an aristocrat around, and they're really famous for their hala hala too, so let's try that out. So here we have something that reminds me of my childhood. If I were to draw Halo Halo, this is exactly what it would look like. Ube, usually ice cream, extremely decadent. It is a natural flavor, but that is not a natural color. Leche flan, absolutely delicious. You got some shaved ice, you got some red jelly, so usually nata de coco, yellow corn, some coconut, and usually bean paste. So Aristocrats really famous for their Halo Halo. Mix it first, and then the milk goes in. Ooh. All right, let's go. That ubi ice cream with that PD pig that's like as old school as you get and the leche flan combined makes us a winner as well. This is probably the cleanest looking one that we're gonna get and that you're gonna see. It looks so pretty. Then you've got your, I think it's maybe condensed milk or milk there. You've got your beans, all your sweetened little ingredients in the bottom. It just looks perfectly layered. I love the very neutral color scheme that's happening here. Razon's is a very popular chain that you can find, I think, everywhere in the Philippines now. And it's originally from Guagua. That's why it's called Razon's from Guagua. Hey. So now we're gonna taste everything together. Let's mix it all up. By now you guys are pros at this, I'm sure. One big, delicious scoop. 
There's a slight, slight, not sourness, but almost like sourness to it. And it's really good. Like it bounces out where the other ones are mostly sweet through and through. This one has a nice, almost fresh kick to it. What I like about it is the proportion. It's really well put together and you can actually taste that in every bite. And there's actual equilibrium happening in the glass that was on this. So we are in Chow King. I need to shout because <laughs> Zane. It's all about Zane, baby. This is probably the most intense one we've had so far. It is literally one kilo. Like, you're about to consume one kilo of sweetness. I do that every morning when I kiss my girlfriend. Or fiance, rather, sorry. So we have a big bowl of shaved ice, we have ube, we have nata de coco, we have um, a lot of sweetened bean paste, we've got some ube in there, we've got some sweetened lanka, um, we have some red jelly, probably nata de coco as well, we have vanilla ice cream, or is this vanilla or pini pig? Macapuno ice cream, pini pig, and leche flan. It's a lot of stuff together, it might not sound like it will go together, but Camera op number one here. Prince of Passing thinks it's the best hala hala in Manila. So let's give that a try and see. The other ones had really distinct flavors. Here I find like the flavors are all kind of like jumbled up together. So you really need to go ahead and fish out all these in individual ingredients to kind of have those textures and those individual flavors. But it does come off more to me like a shake rather than a hala hala. But if it was like 11 p.m. and I was really drunk, I mean, I don't have standards. San ba yung Chow King? Di ko nakita. So if you grew up in Makati like I did, this is an institution. Milky Way is one of those restaurants that's been here forever, paired up with sister restaurants, Tukiji at the top, and we've got Circulo in the bottom with Azutai. Really great place to come when you want food and you're not too sure what you want to eat. Milky Way is, Milky Way is usually, Milky, Milky Way, <laughs> Jesus, Milky Way is usually, <laughs> good. Milky Way is the type of place that I usually gravitate to when I want some down home good cooked Filipino food. That phrase made no sense, but just really homey Filipino cooking. They make really well. Their adobo, their soups, their sinigang, their bulalo is absolutely gorgeous. They are famous, as the poster famously says over there, for the biggest and best, and I will say baddest, halo halo in town. So you have all the flavors and colors that you look for in a halo halo, but layered in a very pretty, scientific, and beautiful way, which I think makes a lot of sense. Compared to the Chow King one that was kind of like muddled but very colorful, this one's colorful yet has layers and textures, which I like. So we're gonna go ahead and dig in. Mix, mix, mix. And probably one of my favorite things here is they're not using any popular ice cream brands. I believe that all their ice creams are made in-house, which makes a massive difference. It does make a massive difference, because this carries flavor. It's on the sweeter side, but it is absolutely delicious. This is probably the one with the most textures and the most integrity and flavors, and it's very clean tasting. I like it. I didn't realize it would be that tough simply because there are so many different ingredients one can actually add to a halo halo. You can add some things like kaong, which is sweetened palm fruit. You can add macapuno, which a lot of people don't know is actually in a normal development of the endosperm of a coconut that makes it jelly-like and sweeter and increases the overall amino profile of the coconut and just gives you that texture that makes macapuno. That was, a, that was a little heavy fact right there. I'm actually proud of myself. And you can add things like pini pig, which is crispy rice. You can add shaved coconut. There's just so many variations. So at the end of the day, let's look at it really clearly. For me, the number one halo halo that we tried today, and I know a lot of you will come back to me saying, I only tried this many, and you should have tried that many. The ones that we sampled today, the one I really enjoyed the most was the one from, is there a drum roll? Yeah. There's a drum roll. 
The one from Kabig Tings was the best for me. It just makes so much sense that someone would add Carabao pastillas on top of a halo halo. It's almost cheating because it's pastillas de leche. Like, who doesn't love that? I really enjoyed all of them. None of them were actually losers in my mind. Razon's probably wins the cleanest one, the one where you can really taste all the integrity of the ingredients and have just really kind of minimal ingredients in there. And it's always gonna be a classic. The third on my list that I really did enjoy is Milky Way. And why Milky Way? Simply because ube ice cream on a halo halo has kind of become emblematic of what an, a halo halo kind of looks like to the world. Anywhere you look in the world right now in the States or in Europe, halo halo is becoming a huge thing. And the way it's usually presented, there is some ube ice cream involved there. And when you look at that beautiful, special Milky Way halo halo, it really looks like a picture that you would take of, hey, hey my friend, this is what a halo halo should look like. So there are tons of other halo halo restaurants or snack shops around the city that I should be trying and eventually we will be putting those in maybe a part two if you guys really enjoy this video. So make sure to comment below, tell us which one you think we should hit or tell us recipes that we should try. And as always, make sure to subscribe and like and just make me happier.